Hey, welcome back to the January house. This is Mike. Thanks for checking in. If you're new to the channel, I am a full-time reseller here in central Pennsylvania, and I make videos here on my YouTube channel about things that I sell, things that I buy at estate sales, live auctions, thrift stores. I also run my own auctions on Tuesday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern and Sunday nights at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern with my buddy John. So if those things are interesting to you, please consider subscribing. Thanks. All right, today's video is a what sold video. A few items that I sold recently in my stores, so let's jump into it. So first up is this pair of roller blades. I picked this up in a big lot at a live auction. So my cost is like $2, maybe $2.50, and I sold them for $43.96 plus shipping. All right, next up is a food processor part from a Sunbeam Oscar. If you've watched my videos, you know that I like to part items out, especially food processors. Usually I sell a number of Cuisinart food processor parts, but I picked this Sunbeam Oscar food processor up at my buddy John's estate sale one day for $10. So I have approximately $1 cost into this item, and I sold it for $24.63 with free shipping. All right, next up is an item you should definitely look out for at thrift stores or estate sales. It is a Black & Decker under the cabinet can opener. I got this at my buddy John's estate sale also, and it sold pretty quick. I think it was within one day for $65.96 plus shipping. All right, next up is a lot of two. These are two Reese's Pieces beach balls. I really got lucky on this purchase. I went to my local thrift store on half price day. So these were a dollar each, but it was half price day. So I paid $1 for two of them and I sold them for $50.96 plus shipping. All right, next up is a storage locker find. It's an anthology book. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Anthology? It's from 1892. So the condition wasn't that great and I had it for a while. It sat in my store for a long time but I finally sold it $79.20 plus shipping. All right, next up is glassware. And if you know my channel, you know I love glassware and I have a hard time walking past glassware that I like without actually purchasing it. I'm just drawn to it. It's like my kryptonite because I buy it and it doesn't seem to sell. But this piece I found in a storage locker, it's a Philadelphia Eagles Brian Westbrook, like tall beer mug. Brian Westbrook was a running back for the Philadelphia Eagles uh, some time ago, and I sold it for $21.96 plus shipping. All right, next up is a box of new humidifier filters from Sunbeam. I got this at my buddy John's estate sale as well. They're new in box, never used, and I sold them for $22.97 with free shipping. All right, next up is an empty Furman and Schmidt or FNS beer bottle. It's vintage from right here in Pennsylvania, Shamokin, Pennsylvania. Uh, I found a case of empty FNS beer bottles in a storage locker one time. I have like almost zero cost into this thing. And the good thing is I can make one listing and just increase the quantity. And I sold this one for $9 plus shipping. All right, next up is an item I picked up at the live auction. I paid up a little bit for it. It's new in box sealed hearing aids. And I paid $40 for this at the live auction, but I knew they would sell, sold within two days for $125 free shipping. All right, finally, I sold this block of wood on eBay. Okay, it's a block of wood, but on the other side, it has Aunt Jemima advertising on it. So it has a little bit more value than just a standard block of wood. And I'm really not sure where I found this. It was either in a storage locker or I made a, a large purchase of items from another reseller at one point. And I was going through things in the garage and I found this block of wood with the Aunt Jemima advertising on it. Thought it was interesting, put it on eBay as an auction and I sold it for $9.99 plus shipping. So there you go. Uh, the block of wood is definitely a first for me on eBay. What are some items that you have sold on eBay that people might not believe you sold if you told them, hey, I sold a block of wood on eBay? Uh, let me know in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thanks.